let's create a catch the cat app. Oh. So we can see this is the app demo. We have one timer, okay? And we just have 15 seconds left and score is zero. We need to catch that cat. See, that she's moving like this. So we need to touch this. I can see just catch her like this. We have some points like 40 points we have now. Just three seconds left and catch her. You can increase the speed. As you can see, the game is over now and your score is 60. And once you restart this game, click on this start, your timer will start and the score is zero now again, like this. So we're gonna create this amazing catch the cat game using MIT App Inventor. So here we go. So as you can see, this is our platform called MIT App Inventor. Okay, so you need to open the website ai2.appinventor.mit.edu website and click on new project. And my project name is cat the cat. Okay. Now here we need to design out this screen. So I'm going to use here one layout and that is called the vertical arrangement like this. Just drag and drop this here. And I'm going to just make this with and hide this fill pattern like this. Okay. And I'm, I need one more uh, arrangement and that is called horizontal arrangement here. And I'm going to make this with this fill pattern like this. And I'm going to make that height. Okay. That height is around 20% like this. Okay, and this is our game and here we can put our score. Okay, so you can just change that height to maybe 10% is also fine for this. Cool. Now I'm going to use your one label. Okay, so just drag and drop one label and that label name you can just name it like a score. Okay, like this is score and just make it 20. So that is visible. Cool. And you can just make here one arrow something like this. Okay, and or just one line. Now we need to put here some, you know, uh, the one more label that is called the level two. And here we are going to display the uh, score. And right now the initial stage or uh, score is zero like this. And I'm going to make that font size is 30 for now. And make sure horizontal arrangement should be center, a line horizontal both like this. Now I need to do again for scene is like you can just copy paste this thing also. Like just copy paste zero zero two times. Use the command C or control C uh, or, and then control V or command V. Okay. So here for a command V, like if you're using Mac, then use the command V. If you're using Windows, then use the command, uh, sorry, control C or control V. Okay. Now we can see this is our level. Level, we need to just go to three. And here I can just add here the timer like this. And the timer is also is I'm going to just make that 20. And the timer in an initial stage, I'm going to make it for 10 seconds for now. You can make it a 60 second game, okay? Now, I'm gonna just design this and I'm gonna just change the background color of this to something pink is something like this. Cool. Next thing, we need to design our game. For that, we need to use here one canvas. So just use here the drawing animation and drag and drop the canvas like this and make sure make this hide and with this fill parent like this. Fantastic, cool. Now we need to add here one image. So just drag and drop one image spread like this. Make sure click on canvas. You can change the background color or background image also of this canvas. So I'm going to add here the background color to the black. Okay. And like this. Cool. We have this. Nice. Now what I'm going to do here. I'm going to just add one picture. Cat. Okay. So I have that picture. You can download it from Google. Okay. Or the maybe the fab icon. You can download it. Okay. So I'm going to just click on the pictures, upload file and choose file. I have this, this picture. Okay. This one image. Okay. I'm going to just open this and just turn. And that will display like this. So I need to make sure that width and height is not just automatic. That should be 50, 50 pixel like this width and height is 50 pixel like this. So this is our cat. But make sure here we need a timer, okay? So in the left side, you will see here the option of sensors and just drag and drop here one timer and one more timer. We need, we require here two timers, okay? Now go to the block. So whenever our screen will in a slice, okay? So whenever our screen will in a slice, we can start the, you know, the timer or we can do one more thing here. If our main screen is this, Okay, and the game will start. Okay, so we don't need to initialize our screen and uh, do the condition. We can directly do add here conditions. It's simple as that. Like, uh, you know, just simply we need to do when the clock one. Okay, 
This is enabled, right? So every second, the timer one is here, the 1000 means every second when that run. So I need to move my, move my cat. This is image sphere, right? Let me move my face first. <laughs> okay. Now uh, I need to just move my cat, move this. Every second I need to move it. And where I need to move it, okay? So this is the random value. So go to the maths and you'll see the option of random from integer like this. And from 0 to 250, okay? And again, this is the x and y coordinate, okay? 0 to 250, y value also. So we are defining here the value where our cat will be. You can see right now cat is here. Now you can see here the x value is 79 and the y value is 30. If I will make it 0 and 0, so that will go to the top. And if I will make it 100 and the 100, so that will be here. Cool? So this is our cat. So C will move, okay, every second. So now C will move every second. Now we need to touch her. We need to catch her, okay? So how we can catch it? So whenever the, someone touch, okay, whenever someone touch the touch the image split okay this other option is like you know you can make it like touch down touch up but touched is the best so when someone touched or when someone catch or cat so we need to increase the score okay how so where is the score the score is in the level 2 okay so in the level 2 level 2 dot text like this and I'm going to use the maths to add the increase the score the level 2 dot text current value, okay, I need to get, we know the current value is 0, 0 increase by 1, okay, when, the, or you can just make it increase by 10, so whenever someone catch the cat, so that level 2, level 2 dot text equal to 10, okay, plus 10, so that will increase the value, if suppose the level 2 value is 50, then when someone touch, when someone catch the cat, that value become 50 plus 10, it means 60, right? Now, this is done. This is our score part. Now, we need to add the timer also. So, how we can do this? So, first of all, we need to run the timer, okay? Every second, we need to reduce that time to make it as a timer, right? So, go to the block. So, we have another timer, timer 2. So, every second, it means every second timer 2, we need to decrease the value of level 4. Here's we have level 4. Go to the block. The same thing we need to apply. Go to the math. You can see the minus 1. But make sure the level 4 dot text. This one. Okay. Level 4 dot text. Value will be minus. But the level 4 dot text. Minus 1. Maths. And you get here from the 1 value. I think this. Cool. Fantastic. Now. The next step is, if suppose the timer is, timer is done. If the timer value is 1 or 0, then how I will make game over, okay? We need to make game over when the time, time is finished. So, go to the block. So, we need to use the condition. Go to the control, if, okay? So, in the timer, I'm going to use the condition. The timer, level 4 dot text, go to the maths. If the level 4 dot text value is equal, to the 1 okay so if my timer is suppose 60 second but uh, after the 59 second 58 second my timer value is 1 then at that condition okay I need to make my game over okay how can I make it game over so go to the design and what I'll do here I'm going to use here one go to the user interface or one notifier like this drag and drop it go to the block and click on the notifier and you can see here the option of show message dialog just call it here so the message i'm gonna just add here the simply simple simple text is like you know is like this your score is so now how can i add a score so i'm gonna use here the join like this okay add this and here in the second point i'm gonna add here the label two dot text so simply get level 2 dot text from here. Like this. Fantastic. Now what is the title? The title will be your score or something, right? Your your you win or something. Okay. Or game over something. Like this. Okay. 
and the button text the button text is restart okay like this now let's do one thing now we need to make or once someone choose the restart game okay so before this or after this okay once someone choose the restart game so make sure we need to make that set level 2 okay set level 2 value should be 0 okay because that is the restart game because we just started the game right and there should be one more thing is like the level 4 value should be 60 okay 60 and the level 2 value is 0 like this this is important right now let's test this how this will work okay now we are just let's catch her oh, oh she's very fast okay let's catch her catch her catch her 50 50 60 oh restart cool the score is zero and timer again is started cool so this is how we created the catch the cat game so if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day be safe bye bye <laughs>